Welcome back, Metalheads. We're here doing Mega March. Uh, what was the name of this episode, Jonathan? This is episode 7, 20,000 Leaks Under the Sea. And boy, were there a lot of leaks. Picture of that girl with the leak. <laughs> because, yeah, leaks! I might do that or I might not. So, first thing about this episode, Mr. Fister... <laughs> <laughs> Can we just talk about Mr. Fister? <laughs> just, who picked the name? Like, like... That's like the main secondary character of this episode. Just just a guy named Mr. Fister, and he's real happy about it. And he pretty much looks like <laughs> Dr. Light, but recolored. Yeah, he's the player too. I, I wrote that down somewhere. Because <laughs> there's a point when they're both on screen together. And he's just... He's just player two Dr. Light. It's great. Yeah. So this episode is obviously water themed, so we get Dive Man and Wave Man, which is it's pretty cool. It's it's nice to get two different robot masters instead of just one. So they're like they're like underwater and they're like, oh man, we're uh, we're attacking we're attacking the Fister <laughs> <laughs> because he's like he's like mining some like this like I didn't really understand. He was mining something. He, he was mining something to make, like, it was the alloy that could make, like, super robots or something. Mm -hmm. it, it, it doesn't matter. It was a MacGuffin. But anyway, it started doing that, that under attack noise, like, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, what was it that? I thought it was, da -da -da. Oh, yeah, yeah, it yeah. did that one. Yeah. Yeah, the, da -da -da, which is, like, the Gundam noise. So, like, when I, when I, when, as we watched it, I was like, it's a Gundam! Yeah, that's famous last words. And that's pretty much what happens, because, I mean, they're under attack, and the noise was heard, and we were like, oh yeah. no, we know what yeah. this means. It's a Gundam. Robots are dying. Speaking of robots dying, Dive Man shoots a dive missile at this one dude, and it's not just an explosion, there's like body parts everywhere, it was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was so graphic for no reason. I know. And I loved it. Um, also, I think there was like a, like a scene mix-up, because after... After all of, like, the... After Dive Man, like, destroys robots, like, the, the next scene is just casually... Oh, we have an intruder. Intruder, yeah, intruder alert. Alert. Intru yeah. And, and I'm like, I think that scene got misplaced. Like, I feel like that... Like, it should have been Dive Man, like, throwing the missile, and then, you know... Mm -hmm. yeah. The dude gets explode, and then the next scene would be... Oh, we have an intruder. Alert, alert. And then you see all these scenes yeah. of robots being destroyed, and then... Maybe, you see Dr. Wily in the gang. Maybe it was supposed to happen, at, like it was supposed to be happening at the same time, mm -hmm. but it wasn't conveyed well, but you're probably more right than me. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, like I said earlier, we get to see Wave Man and Dive Man, and I gotta say, Wave Man just looks spot on. Yeah, he looks cool. Like, like he I, looked... I don't even know what Wave Man looks like, but... Like that. Really? Like, that... They didn't like add a bunch of muscles to him or like a, a man face, but Dive Man. Ooh man, he, he looked did, he looked he, the furthest he, thing away from a Mega Man character. He, he was a guy wearing like a suit, you know. He he was cosplaying Dive he, Man. He looks like a shark. <laughs> like he looked like a shark to me. I just can't. I I can't. I can't get over Mr. Fister. <laughs> just, I know, they let that guy on a kid's show? The, the entire time, I was just like, why is his name Mr. Fister? And, and they would and all... what is he fisting? Oh I'll, my god. Let's not answer that question. But, anytime they, they never said like, Fister, or, you know, like, Ralph, whatever it his was name always It was always Mr. Mis Fister. It had to rhyme, and I love it. So... You see all the all the robot masters swimming around, and I get dive mm -hmm. and wave swimming. You know they're aquatic based. And how come Gutsman and Cutman aren't just sinking to the bottom? Mm -hmm. You know they're swimming around like nothing. They're just like, hey, we're chilling. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. we're fighting in the water. But I mean, I guess that's how it works. And they also had a box of piranhas. Yeah, just robot co piranhas. Conveniently, what do they call it? I I didn't hear Robo. it. It was a weird name. It was a I was weird like, oh, word. I it Robo, might have been the Mo, name. Mo, Mo. Robo piranha or Robo fisters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
I just remember it being like they could have literally named it. They could literally named it anything else. Yeah. But Robo Prana is what I heard. I I did. I could be wrong. It. I could be wrong. And I'm not gonna go check it. So viewers at home, now it's your time to shine. <laughs> what were they called? You can just make something up, and I'll believe you. <laughs> but um, one of the the Pranas are like chasing Mega Man. Mega Man shows up at some point. It doesn't matter. There's yeah, an action scene. There's yeah. They're fighting. But um. Mega Man shows up, and then the piranhas get loose on him. He's like, "Oh no!" And he like swims past Guts Man. Oh yeah. And they they, <laughs> they bite they like bite his arm off, and it just falls to the ground. And Guts Man's like, "Oh no!" And he just like picks it up and just puts it, it back on. Doesn't even phase just, him. Yeah, like if it's that easy, no wonder Wily comes back on a weekly basis. He just has to, and you're back. <laughs> you know. Let's fix your arm, click. Yep. So, um... Oh, yeah, during the yeah. fight, like, he... Something happens. Ooh, excuse me. Something <laughs> happens where, um... Where, um... Like, there's a squid all over... Is it Gutsman? No, um... The, there's a... The squid comes up and it, it's fighting Mega Man. Like, it grabs him. Oh, okay. And then... It gets stuck, right? Like, like... It, it's, it's fighting him and then Dive Man shoots a missile and it gets... Like embedded into one of the, oh, the thing's yeah, tentacles, yeah, right. and and it lets go of Mega Man because like, ow, my arm. Yeah. And Mega like, Man's like, like oh I have no. a thorn in my body. Yeah. And Mega Man was like, oh no, I gotta save him. Yeah, because it, it's gonna blow up. You know, it's a living creature. I yeah, can't let that happen. Yeah. So he like he like takes the little torpedo thing and he throws it at Cutsman and uh, oh, excuse me. It's very late. I'm sorry. But anyway, um, uh. So he throws the torpedo at Gutsman and Cutsman and Cutsman. Get Cutsman out of here. at Cutman and um the squid like runs off all angrily and Mega Man's like, Well gee, that's some things. Yeah. It's like it's like some thank you. Yeah, and then um so meanwhile Remember that. Yeah, remember that. Yeah, it's important. It's actually important. Yeah. For once. But meanwhile, um Roll is like, oh no, Mega Man's in trouble. I'm gonna go save him. Come on, Eddie. And then Eddie and Roll jump onto the the, this little, the like, jet. It's the jet. It's like cycle. a yeah jet cycle, but it's yeah. not very like water proof. Yeah. So they we, go we, in there yeah, we, and we find out that like she flies in and then just crashes into the water and she's and, like, oh no, I guess it doesn't work in the water. Yeah, because so. it like starts like slowing down and like. I think it starts like saying it's like I'm not working. So they end up crashing, and um. And while this is happening, Mega Man is like fighting for his life, like to stay awake because he ran out of yeah, energy. Yeah, he, he was like, "Oh no, I'm out of energy." Yeah. So he, he really, he really needs, he really needs that um, that energy can. But you know, like they crashed. You know, they're pretty nearby. But you see later that Eddie's like knocked out. And Roll's like, "Oh my god, I gotta help." So him. so number one, she finds Mega Man. And she's like, oh no. So she, swim she goes to Mega Man. We're still underwater. She's, yes, all of this is underwater episode. She swims to Mega Man. She's like, oh no. She goes back to Eddie, which I don't know why she didn't just bring Eddie with her. It was probably. It's probably and then, like, it's probably wake like, him up there. It's probably like, oh no, my my brother's like over here. I'm. I gotta go know, save my brother. Like, yeah, I, that I'm makes sense. I'm not thinking of anything else. That makes sense. You know. And then Good. she's and then she's like, oh. Good on you, sister roll. This is what's happening. I gotta, you know, I gotta fix it right now. But yeah. she wakes Eddie up, and then he just starts shooting, shooting energy cans. It's like, like just they're just landing he, on Mega yeah, Man's body. Yeah, he grabs body. two, and I'm like, well, that's a way to <laughs> show the kids that you're drinking. Yeah, he, like, pull, he pulls like an they Austin. Look like, they look like beer cans. Yeah, he pulls an Austin 316 and just bashes them together and gives them a hell yeah. <laughs> and then he's all super. Super Arrisquete. You know, how, how come... How come Wily doesn't make his own version of the energy cans? What because it, because it seems like Mega Man's cheating. Because he's fighting all these guys. He's like, oh no, I'm out of power. Oh, he pulls it, a Popeye. That's what it is. Ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I was like, something about this scene feels really familiar. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. Very, it's very Popeye. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, what, what if... What if Wily was like, Proto Man here, and he gives him like, he's oh, like, now if you're out of energy, yeah. you know, you, you'd think, yeah. but there you go, you know, it's Wily for you. And this, 
happens. I don't know if this is the only episode mm -hmm. that it happens, but it's one where where Cutman's like, I'm going to make paper dolls out of yeah. you! Yeah, was it the first time he's, he's said that? The first time we've seen it, I don't know if it's the last. Okay. You know, in the episodes that we've watched so As, far. Because I think that, that, like, you've always you've always said that, and uh -huh. then, like, I hear, hearing that line from the face, I'm like, hey, I know that from somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but um, he said that, but he said it after he gets hit on the head with a rock, and it crushes his scissors. Yeah, and it's, so now he's got, like, bunny ears. Yeah, it's, scissors, like, the most you know, depressing like, thing. Like, when one's all down. <laughs> and the other one's all up, but like it's still kind of like dense. Well, you can always tell Cutman's emotions by, by, <laughs> by how, his shears. how stiff his shears are. <laughs> I'm just so happy to hear the, the paper dolls thing. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Um, so I gotta say, like, watching this episode, it, like, I really didn't have too, like, too many complaints because it was a really good episode. Like, it was very solid. Yeah, I mean, that, there's not a lot of story in it. But that means they couldn't botch the story. Yeah. Because it was just like, there, there's water, you know, they're gonna fight, and it, it was, it's fun, you know. We yeah. we both we both remarked on just how much fun the episode was yeah. going through it. And it felt like it felt like no time was wasted. Like it had good pacing. Yeah. yeah. And it felt like. You know how, like, when you watch an episode and by the end of it you're like, oh my god, th like, that happened so fast. Yeah, but like, like this, it wraps everything up just real yeah, quick. Yeah, but, but, but this episode, it was, like, just slow enough so that it felt like a really long episode, but it, you know, it was only, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, probably you know, kind of, kind of like minutes, regular, yeah. you know, regular minutes. So, it, I mean, it, good on you, you know. I think, I think all shows should kind of feel that way. Yeah, like, kind of strive they, for yeah, that. They, yeah, they should yeah, yeah. kind of strive for that consistency. But, um,. I remember when, like, they, they, they finish saving w that little underwater plant or whatever, mm -hmm. and they get out, and and Mr. Fister, and... <laughs> and I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Fister and Dr. Light and Roll and Mega Man, they're, like, at some awards thing. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's like, Congratulations, yay, you, yeah, yeah, you, you did it. it. Yeah. And, then, and then I'm like, oh, did they make a color mistake? Like... Because Mr. Fister's beard and his mustache were two different colors. Like, like, his hair was significantly darker. It was a lot darker, Like, yeah. a lot darker yeah. than the last time. And I'm like, did that make a color mistake? And then later, plot twist, it was actually Dr. Wiley. Yeah, it was Wiley in disguise. Yeah, so, so it was just like, aha, yeah. I caught you. Yeah, you caught know? him in the act? I caught him. <laughs> <laughs> but um, before we find out that, that, the, that Wiley was the Fister all along. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He, he, he can't even. He, I mean, he he, he, he went in and, and, and. I shouldn't laugh at that. And body so slap at the real. Yeah, Mr. Like, Fister. yeah he, he kidnapped the actual Fister. Yeah. The, so one, the one who actually fists. Yeah, so by the. So, now you're all mine! <laughs> so by the time the, the, time the award ceremony, it's, it's Wiley. Yeah, it's, it's Wiley at that point, and he's like, like, this is when you still, you know, you don't know it's Wiley. He's like, oh, look, uh, we built this brand new state-of-the-art lab. And Light's like, I would really like to work in a place like this. And He's like, you're gonna. It's yours. Here's the key. He gives him the key. And then they go in. and. Oh, and before they go in, Mega Man's really suspicious. Yeah. He's, he's like, he, like, unlocks the door and he's, like, looking around. He's really hesitant, like, yeah. which is something, like, this is the first time yeah. that you're seeing this from Mega Man. Yeah. And Dr. Light's like, oh, what's wrong? And then what Mega Man said really, like... You know, knowing what we know now. Yeah. It really, it really kind of got to me because um, um, I don't, I don't know the quote he's, exactly, he's but he, it was like, it was like, I think it's just those emotions you gave me. Yeah. You know, it's it's making me. He's basically saying that he's paranoid because he has emotions, and I'm like, Mega Man X. You know, we we said I think in the first episode uh -huh. that we did is either first or second. That this Mega Man is kind of like a cross between classic and X. Yeah. It was like right in the middle because X is like, you know, he's all about emotions and stuff. Yeah. And Mega Man's like, I'm a good boy because I'm supposed to be. Yeah. But I'm a really good boy. Yeah. You know, this is like right in the middle. And he's yeah. talking about emotions. I'm like, nah, you're not supposed to. You don't have that. Yeah. But, I mean, how would they know in 94? Yeah. yeah, they wouldn't. Yeah. They wouldn't know. But, I mean, it's kind of cool. Like, if you tie Mega Man and then the show and then mm -hmm. X, yeah. it'd be like a like a good streamline. Yeah. Minus the Lion Men. 
<laughs> we'll get there. <laughs> we will get there. <laughs> Be prepared for that one. If you watch one episode, A, you won't hear this, but B, watch Lion Man. <laughs> yeah. But hold on to your pants, because it gets weird. Oh, man. In so many ways. And yes, the time for the episode is correct. But anyway, <laughs> um, so he goes in, they go in the little house, and... You know, then all of a sudden, like... Well, they see, like, food and, like, buttons everywhere. He's yeah, like, wow, and, I could create miracles and here. It, and it looks really nice. Uh-huh. And then all of a sudden, like, the like the door, like, the... You see, like, these little metal things go on the windows. Yeah, like, everything like, gets barred. Yeah, everything gets barred. And it's like, oh, my God. And, and Mega Man's <laughs> like, I knew it. And then Dr. Doctor Light's like, oh, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... So he's, like, pressing buttons. Like, let me see if I can, if I can unlock these... And he's typing on the keys, and he goes, none of them works! And I'm just like, huh. <laughs> none of them works. He, he, and I write it down. <laughs> he, he has a doctorate in robotics, not in English, okay? <laughs> so then where's he... Where, origin? What? Why is he not good at English, then? Was he... Was he Have you lo- played Mega Man 8? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> He's got a bad track record with English. Where is he from, though? Like, like, has it ever been stated in the in, in the lore? In Mega Man 8, yeah. like, like, there's, like, a world map. Like, each time you pick a level, it'll show. Like, it's like, it's like an actual, you uh-huh. know, Earth globe. It'll show, like, where things take place. And Dr. Light's lab is in Central America. So, assuming he's American, he has an American name. Hmm. Central America, huh? Oh, not not Central America. Central United States. Sorry. Oh, not, okay. not, I forgot that there was a... Central United States. Oh, okay. Yeah. Probably, like, closer to the Southwest. I don't quite remember. Oh. It's on the screen now. But, okay. um, yeah. Because so, sometimes that happens to me, you know, since I'm bilingual. Like, I'll, like, I'll, I'll, I'll like, mix two languages and, like, my English comes out broken like that. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, and then um. Okay, so like after after the 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 bars go down and none of them works happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's this like electro neutralizer which like, oh my god, like so it, there's like a beam that goes over oh, the wall and rush, yeah, yeah, and like it looks horrifying, like oh my god. Like, yeah, just, just the beam that and then yeah, like like, just like they're their, just they're just their, like oh. they 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 stiffen up and you see all these like sparks right, flying yeah, everywhere and yeah. it's just like oh my god this is horrifying like what's happening right now and then Doctor Wiley comes on and he was like it's me like yeah. it was me all along it's me Austin <laughs> yeah. lots of wrestling pretty in this much episode. yeah it's pretty much is what he did um, <laughs> it's me Thomas and uh, and so Mega Man kind of like. Plays dumb and yeah, we we and find we find out later that he pretends that he got affected by the thing, but he was out of its range. Well, hold on, rewind a bit. The, it turns out the lab has legs, yeah, and so it's, it's and, and, walks and so legs. he neutralizes Doctor Light, roll and rush, and while Mega Man's faking, uh, Wily's like, haha, have you now? Blah blah blah, and you know he's like stuck, so he has to yeah. like do what he says for yeah. the time being, and like the building just. His, grows legs and it just walks. Where it yeah, just walks his, to the his, ocean. His plan is is to have the building walk underwater so light and everyone just drown. Mm. Either drown or they die of like starvation. Which truthfully is really diabolical because oh that food it was also just a hologram. Yeah, everything everything was fake. Yeah. But um, I, I really like how Wiley in this show most of the time yeah he was is, really evil well yeah he's like legit evil he is no question out to kill mm-hmm. like light and you know like especially light but like mega man and you know yeah, his family light and his family yeah, yeah he he is like like there's no like oh i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna switch their hot water and their cold water yeah, so no, their showers get messed up he's no he's like out for blood because he he says you know you're going to a watery grave or you know something along those lines I'm like that's hardcore yeah. you know like he wants this man dead he doesn't he doesn't want just petty revenge he wants him dead and like you you got to think about um because when they're in the water the the door to this lab is like double sealed 
Yeah, it's got. He said, um, like, like, Ma like Mega, Man Mega Man tries to shoot through it. He's like, uh, there's like a blast shield on it. Yeah. And, and there's continuity. Yes. In this episode, so, because. Doctor Doctor Light, he um he. Okay, so he's trying to open the door, and they realize there's a second door that's mm -hmm. preventing them. So like a what did he call it? Like a titanium barrier, blast barrier, something, so, like, that. something like that. Something like that. And so um, you see, kind of in the background, that giant squid, and it's fighting. Is it fighting another robot? Because I remember them still being down there. Oh, well, hold on. Let, we we have to take one more step back. Mega Man shoots the door first. Oh yeah. So, and and, the, and, the, and then it may, it like dents in, but it doesn't blast through. And he's like, "Oh no, there's yeah, a shield." There's a shield. That's when that comes in. And, anyway. And then he. There's a squid. And then the, and then he sees the squid, and he's like, "Oh, it's that squid from before." Uh, you know, we need help. He's that's probably the only living thing that we're gonna get to help us. Yeah, he's like he's like maybe you know maybe it remembers. Yeah, maybe it maybe remembers, it remembers me. You know, me but helping he, him. But he but he says this kind of like sarcastically Sarcastic, yes. because yeah. like he remembered how ungrateful the creature was before, and then Doctor Light was like, "Oh, well, here we go. I've, I've I've used this. This wave interprets speech into sound waves so that you mm -hmm. know aquatic creatures can blah blah blah." And Mega Man's like, I guess it's worth he, a shot. He, yeah, he doesn't say the aquatic creatures part, but, you know, context clues. And Mega Man's like, sure, I'll try anything, you know? And he tries it, and, and he, then... He, like, he like, pretty much... I love how he's like, hey, we need help! Like, he's just so, yeah. like, like awkward. Yeah. Like, like, I feel like that's something a ten-year-old would say. Yeah. You know, like, like so well, when Mega I heard... Yeah, yeah, so when I heard that, I was like, oh... Ten-year-old, yeah. you know, is trying to. We need help, but you know, we don't. Yeah, yeah. So like, this squid like works. Well, the the thing about that is, I don't think it's like one of those cartoony. Oh, you know, the squid is a nice guy now. Yeah. I think it was like it heard something, and then it's like there's food in there. I'm gonna because it like just like kind of tears through the door. Yeah. You know, like something like a big creature trying to get a small creature out of a burrow. Mm -hmm. It's like just tearing in there and then it just gives up and swims away. Oh, You know, yeah. so Mega Man was like, thanks, you know, it did remember. You know, so I, I think it was just, it was just like, I hear something, I'm, I'm a predator, <laughs> you know. See, I thought the other way, like, <sighs> oh, it really did work. Cause, but you know, I, I, I always have like a kid mentality it could, anyway. It, it could be but, both. Yeah, it could be both. You know. But anyway, so he asked for the thing to help, the squid, takes the barrier off mm -hmm. and then as as Mega Man um, is exiting the door he's like okay I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the bad guys you stay here with Dr. Light and the scene where he's opening the door and all this water's coming in and then roll like shuts the door I'm like damn like <laughs> for a second I I had thought that that they weren't robots, like they were humans. Uh -huh. <laughs> and well, because you know, like Roll doesn't have any armor on, so I was like, right, yeah. man. And then like, like I remember that the robots. I'm like, these robots are really strong. I mean, they are under the ocean or yeah. some large body of water, and it is like really dense. Well, you know, uh oh, Ru so, Rush helped too. Yeah, yeah, he Rush, push Rush, the door. Rush actually helped. I think he was like he was carrying. He was helping push the door. Yeah, but um. Yeah, I, I, I will have to say, in it, throughout this episode, one of the things that I was like, oh, th those look nice, were the little fish bots, mm -hmm. you know, the ones that you're, you're fighting, because, you know, they got fins, and they yeah. they look like fish. Like, you, they like, should, you like the fish bots a like, lot. Like the whole time should, she was like, I love the fish bots. Yeah, like, oh, the fish bots, they look so cool, you know, like, like, like you know how you, when you see, like, um... Oh, hold on, we, we never, we never talked about... Oh yeah, the other well, side of the well, door. Well, anyway, so other side of the door, back to the door thing. They open the door. Mega Man swims away. And as he swims away, you see the blast shot on the on the little yeah, door. Yeah, it's, it's dented he, through the other side. Yeah, so we were just like, oh, you can see the dent. That's cool. Yeah, continuity finally. Little, little continuity, you know. Continuity. Continuity. <laughs> Words. Mr. <'Cause> Fister. You see. <laughs> Again, I was waiting to see how long you could go with that. That. It's it's really hard. Whoa, okay. But um So um so he, they, they escape. Yeah, the other the robots, you know, like all the bad guys start fighting Mega Man. And um me, meanwhile um they find out that the lab is on a self destruct thing because mm -hmm. it's just walking into a cave and it's just gonna blow up. Yeah. So they gotta get out of oh, there. Excuse me. So while they're trying to 
they're trying to get light out of there. Mega Man's fighting the bad guys, and like he copies. I forgot if he copied Wave Man's power then um, or earlier in the episode. But at some point, he got Wave Man's power. No, he got it. He yeah, got he it just. Got, he, he got, got it, it in just that then. fight. Yeah, yeah he because just got it then. that's how he uh, blew Doctor Wily's uh, submarine away. Yeah. He like threw a wave at him, and they're like, "Oh no!" Blah 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 blah. <laughs> and then, um, and then he gets shot in the back. And it's Dive Man. He's like, oh no, I forgot about Dive Man. I was like, I did too. Yeah, Sizzling Circuits, yeah. He says it really fast, like, Sizzling Circuits! Yeah, like, like he was like, you know, shit, you know? Yeah, he said he said it like Robin from, like, yeah, Adam like, West Batman. Like, like, and and it, it's so funny because he ha he's, like, the lines delivered with such shock that you, like, believe it because mm -hmm. you're also like, oh crap, we forgot about him too, yeah. you know? So... Yeah, because, so. like, like, earlier I was thinking, I guess Dive Man just got defeated earlier. You know, oh, I, I, I guess didn't, so. I didn't remember. But then he's like, oh, I'm here. But then Mega Man shoots him, and then he takes his dive missile. So now he's got Wave Man and Dive Man, and that's, you know, he uses that to save the day. Yeah. But when it's doing, when it's doing the dive missile, you know, weapon get, you know, he touches the, he touches the thing, it shows the, the power go to his forehead. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's supposed to lift up his his buster and it's like you know it does all the noise instead like it cuts it you know early you know because we just saw it mm -hmm. a couple minutes ago but it was cut incorrectly because like it shows the thing going to his forehead and you think it would cut there yeah but it it the camera starts to pan back and it just goes up to like the first frame you see Mega Man's buster and then it cuts I'm like come on oh. man I, I, I didn't notice that. You just gotta push the left arrow once. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, I that did, was funny. I did like what Proto Man says after after that scene. He's like, man, he's got Wave Man's power, he's got, Dive Man's power, and, his, and own. his own buster. Yeah. Like, And you're just like, oh. Oh, I, I like what you did there. Yeah. I, I like how he was like, he's still strong in his own right. You know, he still has his power. Yeah. Um... Sorry, I, I meant to say this earlier, so um, rewind a little bit further in the episode. Um, actually, let's just, I would say let's just finish the episode. So anyway, yeah, they, they just, they, they, there's reverse polarity at some point yeah. with, with the, the thing that knocked everybody down. Who cares? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I mean, I mean that line, like, like, um, like when they're in the house and they use you know, oh, here's my electron neutralizer, and Mega Man is like, hi, I tricked you, I'm gonna save my friends. He's like, he was like, right, oh, there's, yeah, gotta there be a cool. there's gotta be a way to reverse the polarity and on this thing, and it's like... He mm. touches it, and it does the weapon get thing. Yeah. And like, But, you know, it's, it. I think it's supposed to be him, like, just quickly studying it. Yeah. But it looked like he, it looked like he copied it. It was really cool. Yeah, it was it really sound cool. But I, in, in my head, I was thinking it's always reverse. It's always reverse polarity. You always like, have to reverse the polarity. And and it, it was just kind of like, oh. <laughs> but anyway, they saved the day. The real Fister's back to fisting. And his and his mustache and his beard look how they were at the beginning. Neatly because, groomed. Because continuity. <laughs> I cannot that, believe that. Actually, that. I know, which is, you know, it was nice. It that. was a good episode, you know? Like, it, it, it felt like it was a good episode. It felt yeah. like the right length. Like, it, it didn't feel like an important episode, yeah. but it was fun all the way through. Yeah, and it didn't feel like <clears throat> like they were rushing <laughs> for a story. It mm -hmm. just felt, you know, everything was well-paced, so it felt like you got a good amount of information and a story in that 22-minute span. Yeah. And it, and it didn't feel like it went too fast yeah. or too slow. Like it was like just right. And then at the end, Rush gets fleas and falls through a dock and drowns. The end. And nobody like laughs or anything. Uh, nope. It just they happens. Just, yeah, it just happens and the music is like, you know, -na 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 or something like yeah. that. <laughs> Rush is dead. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, I guess that'll do it. Yeah, so yep. there's easy, a... Easy episode to recommend. It was fun. 2,000 two leaks? 20,000. Oh, 20,000. So it's like 20,000 leagues under the sea. 20,000 leaks. It's a play on that. Under the sea. Yep. So, um, recommend it. And I guess we'll see you tomorrow with another episode. Thanks for watching. We'll, uh, see you later. Oh, my God. <laughs>